former chief executive officer of the Ghana Cocoa Board, Dr. Stephen Kwamenopone, has petitioned the Chief Justice, Christiane Niaboat, seeking his intervention in the ongoing criminal trial against him and two others at the High Court. Even though the content of the petition was not made known in court already, Dr. Pony wants the presiding judge, Justice Clemens Onyenoga, to recuse himself from the case on the grounds of bias. Though the content of the petition was not made known, it is public knowledge that Dr. Opini wants Justice Clemens Honyonega to recuse himself from the trial on grounds of bias. According to Supreme Court judge sitting in as an additional High Court judge, Justice Clemens Honyonega, he has been shown a petition by Dr. Opini addressed to the Chief Justice. The motion he said was filed on June 17 and came to his notice Friday morning, June 18. He stated he was not sure if the Chief Justice had received a petition compelling him to agenda the case until the Chief Justice responds. The state represented by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Yvonne Atakura Obubisa, said she and her team had not seen the petition before appearing in court. Dr. Opini filed an application which was dismissed praying the court for Justice Honyoniga to recuse himself on the grounds that he fears he may not get fair trial because the judge had stated in open court that he wanted to finish the case quickly so that he could concentrate on his duties at the Supreme Court. He also argued that the trial judge had made final determination of fact in his ruling on the submission of no case, a determination which could only be made at the end of the trial after the accused had opened his defense. Dr. Opuni and the CEO of Agricult Ghana Limited, Sidio Agongo, have denied charges of causing financial loss to the state and have been asked to open their defense. Lawyers of the accused, according to the court, have also filed a case at the Supreme Court seeking its advisory jurisdiction on the matter. Justice Honyoniga consequently adjourned the case to June 29, awaiting the decision of the Chief Justice.